this is the end of the road for vaping in Australia as we know it. This is what they want for all of us. Hope you're all doing good as gold. Unfortunately, things down here in Australia are anything but good as gold. The problem with vaping is that it's a bit of an entry point into then uh, full-on tobacco use. Uh, unfortunately, the Australian government has blindsided all of us by not needing to use legislation to bring in a ban. They have very sneakily, uh, right around Christmas, made two amendments. One to the Therapeutic Goods Administration, uh, specifically uh, the Therapeutic Goods Legislation Amendment, brackets Vaping Regulations 2023. And the other one is the Customs Legislation Amendment, Vaping Goods Regulations 2023. By making amendments to these uh, regulations that are already in place, they are able to basically ban everything in terms of importation. Uh, already on the 1st of January, they brought in a full ban on the importation of disposable vaporizers. However, as of March 1st, there will be a full ban on the importation of all vapor products whether it's a complete system, whether it's a part system, whether it's a pod, whether it's a mod, whether it's a tank, whether it's a fucking RDA, a boro, doesn't matter. It can be a part, it can be a full system, it's banned. You cannot import it as of March 1st. So essentially, if you've already imported stock uh, by March 1st, the shops, you know, the online stores, the retailers, they can continue to sell those products, but they won't be able to import or restock anything more, and you as consumers won't be able to buy online from overseas or anything like that. Uh, essentially, running the fucking shops down slowly until they've got nothing left to sell. Um, the legislation they're going to bring in this year will be aimed at you know, trying to stop liquid manufacturers from manufacturing liquids here. That's what they haven't done yet, is the, uh, the local domestic sort of uh, ban as such, because obviously if you're a liquid producer here in Australia, you're not necessarily importing vapour products, you're making them here, and so they are still going to go after that. There is going to be legal vapes available in Australia, but they will be only through pharmacies. They will only be with a prescription, uh, and they will only be government approved products. We've seen a few of them already recently. Uh, 59 milligram pod. Jesus, 59 milligram pod. No flavor, and uh, that pod will cost you about 80 bucks. It's gonna be really expensive to quit smoking legally here in Australia through vapor products. So Aussies, yeah, stock up. Get your fucking shit now, because it's gonna be a fucking long, cold winter for vaping here in Australia. If you are an Australian, um, stock up. Stock up on your nicotine, stock up on your hardware, stock up on your coils, because, um, yeah, after the shops run dry later on this year, and they'll be able to keep going for a while, but you won't be able to buy anything online from overseas, and they won't be able to replenish their stock, so it is um, doomsday. One of the largest raids of its kind in Australia, Sydney police have seized more than $1 million worth of vapes and a sweeping crackdown right across the city. 30,000 vapes and illegal cigarettes were seized in one of the largest operations we've ever seen here in Australia. The federal government is banning the importation of vapes, which the Daily Mail reports will turn 1 million Australians into criminals. But at the same time, as I just mentioned, the ACT is decriminalising drugs like ICE. What do you think of this inconsistency? Well, it's just absurd, the situation, especially here in the ACT, where uh, if you are caught with liquid nicotine, uh, you face a $32,000 fine and all, all potentially a two years in jail uh, as a maximum penalty. Whereas if you're caught with cocaine, meth uh, or heroin, it's a uh, hundred bucks. Uh, mm. uh, what is the world going to here? And uh, the Daily Mail's right, over 1.3 million Australians do vape uh, now. I think the government's got no chance of putting this genie back in the bottle. Whatever you think of vaping, their attempt to ban it is only going to force those Australians into a black market, which will be a massive boon for bikey gangs and, <sighs> and tri triads all around the country. They will be laughing to the bank. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, we'll do not enough to keep apes out of schools. That's what the focus should be on. Our enforcement efforts should be on keeping these things out of the hands of school children. This is not going to work, we all know that. We all know that the Australian government's prohibition approach is not going to work. The black market is going to go fucking bananas. There's going to be all sorts of uh, you know, illegal sales going on because 
they've already been happening with disposables and nicotine anyway, so we know what prohibition does, and that's only gonna get worse. So all we can hope for is that in six, 12, 24 months, the government has to review what they've done, look at the even bigger mess that they've created with the black market and, and hopefully rethink it and maybe look more at what places like the United Kingdom and New Zealand are doing. But until then, get yourself sorted because um, yeah, it's gonna be fucking tough. As you no doubt know, vaping in Australia has been under attack from all sides for quite a while and most strongly from the federal government of the Labour Party in particular have uh, had their uh, their their eyes on us for a very long time. Recently there was some announcement that some nasty things would be coming as of uh, January the 1st 2024 uh, they banned the import of disposable devices regardless of whether they have nicotine or not as of the 1st and they promised more things coming in a March. The first thing is that it seems like certain things don't require legislation and they are a foregone conclusion. That is the complete and utter banning of the importation of any and all vape related products as of March. You won't be able to bring in tanks, RDAs, wire that is labeled as being for vaping, cotton that is specifically developed for vaping, uh, e-liquid whether or not it contains um, nicotine, uh, anything like that will not be able to be imported. Uh, that really devastates both the uh, commercial side and the consumer side of vaping in this country. That is not going forward to the government in February to be discussed. That is done. That is it. That is prohibition. There is a slight um, nod towards tourism dollars. They've decided to allow visitors to bring two vapes. I think it was 200 mils of e-liquid. Um, yeah, basically they're, they, they want to they want to ensure that tourists from overseas can come in and feel comfortable, but they're doing absolutely nothing to look after their people. Uh, where does this leave us as a country of consumers who have transitioned to vaping in an effort to protect ourselves and to improve our health and to still be here for our friends, for our family, for our loved ones, for our kids? Where does that leave us? Literally, we are up shit creek without a paddle in this country. There is uh, very, very little hope at this point uh, of overruling this, of changing this in any way. This is pretty much set in stone. The only legislation that is up for question is whether or not they will be able to damage the manufacturers who make e-liquid in this country. Yeah, the, the manufacturers of e-liquid uh, are going to be... Uh, uh, pretty much run out of town. Disturbing video shows a man being tased after he was caught vaping. This is full on prohibition. They've got plans for more things coming down the line by the end of 2024. This is literally going to look like a draconian police state, at least in terms of tobacco and vaping control. They consider them to be the same. This is the end of vaping in Australia. We have a couple of months grace, but this is the end of vaping for now. This is prohibition. If you are a vapor in Australia, my biggest, biggest um, advice to you right now is look after yourself. Stock up. Uh, get yourself that uh, prescription. You may never use it later, but for now, 100 milligrams in the freezer. Get as much as you can. Stock it and store it away. Uh, for those of you that are overseas that are watching this and you're just shaking your head at how, how asinine and how bad it can be, let me warn you. This can happen anywhere. This can happen to any government. So be vigilant, be out there, be active. The best thing that I can say to a vapor internationally is you need to be active as an advocate. An advocate for what has saved your life so that other people can go down that same path. It can easily be taken away from you. It can easily be ripped out from underneath you. And all that it takes is for you to be quiet, selfish, self-involved, and, and not aware of what's going on outside your walls the world moves at a faster pace than you think and you know all it takes is is one two three steps and the government has just shut it down as has happened here legion from australia is right what's happening in australia right now could happen anywhere else in the planet including the uk um australia has essentially banned vaping they haven't banned vaping on paper 
but they have enacted laws which will basically shut the vaping industry down. Tens of thousands of illegal e-cigarettes have been seized in our state's largest raid yet. The laws have already passed. They were written in and signed in under the door. Closed session, under the door, no public consultation, the door was slammed shut. Simple as that. What Legion said has me worried. It has me worried. This could happen. What happened in Australia, what's happening in Australia, could happen to any country. We still don't understand the full long-term health impacts of vaping, so it's right that we take strong action to stamp this out. That's what we're doing. Banning disposable vapes, taking powers to go after the flavours, the appearance, the packaging, where vapes are displayed in stores. At the end of this year, sometime in October probably, Rishi Sunak is going to call for a general election. He doesn't have a choice. There's a fixed term parliament system now on the books. He's got to call it. The problem is, you have got a Labour Party who will probably win the next general election at the end of this year, who has a health minister who says he wants to heavily regulate the entire vaping industry, who has backbenchers, more than a dozen of them, who want to ban e-liquid flavours, who has a shadow front bench, over half of them, who are in agreement with the current shadow health secretary about wanting stricter regulations, more regulations, more regulations on top of those regulations. Multitudes of Labour backbenchers are of the opinion that this is as bad as smoking. When, and it's not a case of if, there is no fucking hope in hell of the Tories winning at the end of this year, not after the fuck-ups they've done. When the Labour Party get in at the end of 2024, the first thing they will go after is this. They won't outright ban it, but they'll start to go after the flavours first. I'll guarantee fucking you they will go after the flavours first. If Labour get in power, we have got round about a clear year if they go down the wrong road, we have got a clear year to organise and demonstrate. Because if we sit back and do nothing, like what happened for vast bulks of the United States, we're going to end up in the same spot that Australia's in right now. And that's fucking guaranteed. We'll end up in the, we'll end up in the exact same spot. If you are a vapor, especially in the UK, pay attention. Get involved with your local advocacy group or your access and choices may be taken from you.